algebra quadratic equations video part four and um, it's part two for the sum and uh, product in the previous video we found we found that rules these rules that the sum is always equal to minus b over a right and the product is always equal to c over a and uh, uh, we said that delta we can find it in either two uh, ways either b square minus 4ac or s square minus 4p if the roots exist because s is the sum of the roots and p is product right and uh, if the roots exist this means it should be greater or equal to zero and we did this example right in the previous video you can go back and you see how we did that video now in this example i'm uh, going to do something else continue uh, we have uh, already equation quadratic equation which is x squared minus 3x minus 8 equal to 0 and in this equation uh, the roots the roots are alpha and beta so we have roots and they are alpha and beta this is given we have to form a quadratic equation whose roots are form another quadratic equation whose roots are 1 over alpha, 2 roots, 1 over alpha, and 1 over beta. Here we have 2 roots alpha and beta for this equation. Now I want to form another equation whose roots are 1 over alpha, 1 over beta. To do so, first we have to know, as I told you before in the previous video, that every quadratic equation can be written in this form x squared minus sx plus p is equal to zero so in order to differentiate between this e quadratic equation and the new quadratic equation let me uh, uh, write the new quadratic equation in terms of uh, of y in y not in x the same the same we can change it in x as uh, and at any time we want so y squared minus sum times y plus product is equal to zero this quadratic equation I have to form either x square, either x square uh, minus uh, sx plus p equals zero, or y square minus sy plus p equals zero. I can I can change I can use any form or any variable uh, I want. It, it's the same, <clears throat> but in order to make a difference between this x and this y, okay. To 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 know this quadratic equation, to form this quadratic quadratic equation, we should know this sum right and this product and uh, substitute them right and substitute them here to have the equation that's great so i have to find i have to know the sum in this equation let's name it some y some sub y okay what is the sum of this equation what is the sum here sum here is the sum of the roots of this equation and the roots of this equation are given as you can see over here right we have them it's one over alpha 1 over beta. What are the roots of this equation? It's 1 over alpha, right? Plus, the, the sum of the roots is 1 over alpha, plus, because we are doing the sum, plus 1 over beta. Simply, simply, we have to do what here? We have to take common denominator. What is the common denominator between alpha and beta? It's alpha, beta, divided by alpha, what left is beta times 1, it's beta, plus divided by beta what left is alpha times one is alpha or by other words we multiply here by beta by beta right to have alpha beta as denominator and here by alpha and here by alpha we get in the denominator alpha beta and then the numerator alpha plus beta but as we know that alpha beta represents what alpha beta represents the roots of the given equation so alpha plus beta is the sum of the roots of given equation. So we can say that this here is sum, but what sum? Not the sum we want, which is of this equation. It's the sum of that equation because it's alpha plus beta. So the sum of equation in X and alpha beta for sure, it's the product of equation in X. This means we should go and find the sum in, of the equation in X and the product of the equation in X. That's great. What is the sum? The rule of the sum is always minus P over A, and the product is C over A, right? What is minus B over here? What is B? 
B is minus 3, the coefficient of x. What is minus B? Minus 3 times minus, it's a 3. And what is A? A is 1, so this is 1. So what is the answer? It's a 3. And the product is C over A. C here is minus 8, and the A is 1, so it's minus 8 divided by 1, and it is minus 8, right? Minus 8 divided by 1 is minus 8. We go here, and we substitute. Instead of sum of equation x, it's a 3. And the product of equation x, it's minus 8. So the answer is minus 3 over 8. And what is that? Minus 3 over 8 is the sum, sub y, of the equation I have to form it. We got the sum. We still need to, to know the product. What is the product? Product in y is simply, is simply the product of the roots. Do we have the roots of equation y? Yes, he said form a quadratic equation who, whose roots are 1 over alpha and 1 over beta. So it's 1 over alpha times 1 over beta. This is the product of the roots. 1 times 1, numerator times the numerator is 1. Denominator times denominator is alpha beta. 1 is 1. Product is the product in x, right? This is alpha beta is the product in x. And alpha plus beta is the sum in x because we have alpha and beta again, the roots of this equation. So the product in x, we found it there to be minus 8, right? This is product in x, let's say. So it's 1 over minus 8. This means it's minus 1 divided by 8. And this is product of y. Again, this is product of y. I found the sum and the product of equation in y. Can we form this equation now? For sure, the equation we need is y squared minus sum in y, which is minus 3 over 8. And minus we have in the equation, right? Minus the sum, minus the sum. And the sum is minus 3 over 8, so it's plus 3 over 8 times y plus the product. What is the product? It's minus 1 over 8, so it's minus 1 over 8 equal to 0. In order, we can leave it like that, but it's much better <coughs> to, if we uh, write it without fractions. So let's multiply it with uh, 8, the whole equation with 8. It will be 8y squared plus 3 over 8 times 8, we get rid of the denominator 8, 8 cancel. What left is 3y minus same here, 1 over 8 times 8, it's 1 equal to 0. Or if you want, if you like to write it in x, it will be 8x squared plus 3x minus 1 equal to 0. And this is how we form uh, a quadratic equation knowing the sum and the product in terms of the sum on the product of the original equation and see you next video.